No election, or a stolen election, would mean no clear person or group to blame for the fall of the dollar, which is coming, and it would be a lot harder to motivate a civil war. The conservative right has been taking one for the team for decades and have done nothing but talk. They have constantly lost ground, year after year, and the only thing they say is that they'd better not come for their pew-pews. So their strategy has been to sit and wait for that moment of them knocking on their door as they constantly lose ground. They wait for the battle to come to them as the enemy slowly takes away their rights and slowly closes in around them like a boa constrictor. Meanwhile, the left will cause riots at the drop of a hat. They have been trained for decades to protest everything. Violence and vandalism go hand in hand with the left. I am sure everyone can think of a liberal movement that ended up with bricks being thrown through windows etc. So it is more likely that if anyone was going to start a civil war, it would be the left. Conservatives do not riot, they obey the system and vote. So it would be out of character for them to start a civil war if there was no election or Trump were to lose the election. What is more likely, in my opinion, is that Trump will win the election, the dollar will crash, and then they can blame conservatives for the crash of the dollar and have their scapegoat too. This will more than likely lead to civil war after the dollar crashes. This leads to problem, civil unrest and monetary destabilization, and possibly World War III. This leads to reaction, starving war-torn people demanding something be done. This leads to the solution, the Antichrist. He will have an answer for everything, including a one-world currency to solve the monetary problems, and a one-world government to end wars. That is my educated guess as to what is likely to happen. It is all by design. I pray you see the signs that are everywhere, and come to Christ while there is still time left.